Subaru claimed that this car drives like a sports car over virtually any terrain. But to see how fast this car goes over this terrain, we need a benchmark to race against it. That benchmark is the dirt bike, perhaps the ultimate all-terrain vehicle. And the only person we could find crazy enough to take on this challenge was X Games gold medalist Cam Sinclair, riding a Yamaha YZ250. Now that I had my Challenger, we needed a location. This is Eagle Mountain, once the largest open pit iron mine in the Western United States. The iron ore from here was manufactured into steel that was then used into making hardware for World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam. So if you served your country, chances are your tank came from here. This 10,000 acre playground was the perfect place for an all-terrain race. Our course would take us from the top of the mine through a decrepit industrial area and finish just past a ghost town. Racing across an industrial mine is pretty dangerous. So the attorneys made me drive the rally version of the STI for safety. But even though it's been modified for racing, it's not that different from a street car. The engine has slightly more horsepower, and it's equipped with a roll cage, better suspension, and gravel tires. My number one priority is to beat him. Number two is to try to keep my tongue in my mouth. I had a higher top speed than my opponent, but that didn't mean I had the advantage. I'd have to use the ribbon of road winding through the mine, while the dirt bike could cut straight through the obstacles and race directly towards the finish. To be completely honest, my money wasn't on the Subaru. bike immediately took advantage of its ability to cut across the roads, while all I could do was hammer down. Oh, a shortcut. Oh, no! Wow, he's really fast over the rough stuff. We'd split halfway down the mountain. I had five miles of windy dirt trails in front of me before I'd reached the bottom. Cam took a more direct approach. It was a 50 degree slope into a quarter mile deep pit life-threatening to climb down. But on a bike, suicidal. But Cam was here to win. Defying decision to bomb down the side of a cliff paid off. We were now in the apocalyptic industrial area. With three miles to go, it would be about maneuverability, not speed. The dirt bike had the advantage in these close quarters, and I was falling behind. And even worse, my tongue was hanging out. to do something I couldn't resist.
Taking that jump may have put me behind, but I was hoping I could make it up once we hit the asphalt. The challenge for us both was to find the exit on the other side. Whoa, wrong turn! And I immediately took a turn into a dead end. could weave through the houses, but so could I. The Impreza was more than living up to its reputation as an all-terrain car. But then, Cam decided to put me in my place. Lost in the labyrinth, the first to find the exit would take the race. How do you get out of this place? Cam had spotted the exit and hit the highway. Unless I found a shortcut, it was all over. There's the exit right there. Asphalt. Time for those 305 horses to do their job. 